Hi, this is David with David's Tutorials, and today I'm going to show Finale users how to recover corrupted INI files. If you have worked for any time in Finale, you may have noticed that whenever you plug in a USB microphone, you probably wind up corrupting your INI files. Then the next time you start Finale, it simply won't start. There are only two ways to recover this. Number one is if you make a backup of your INI files, and number two is if you simply delete the INI files and then start Finale and let them create the INI files from scratch. Doing it the second way works, but you have lost all of your settings. If you want to recover all of your settings, then you need to make a backup of your INI files, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. The first thing you need to know is where are these INI files kept? As you can see on my screen, I've got a document open. I'm coming up to the Edit menu. I'm going to drop down the Edit menu, go all the way to the bottom, and click Preferences. Here in the Preferences tab, there's a Configuration Files field. I'm going to click once in that field to put the cursor in there. I'm now going to click my Home key to take the cursor to the beginning of the field, press down Shift and click the End key. That highlights the entire Configuration Files address. I'm going to press Control c to copy that address, and that's all I need to do now. I'm going to cancel because I don't need to make any changes. I'm going to open up a Windows Explorer window. I'm going to press Windows E to open that. With this open, I'm going to click up here in the address bar and press Control v that'd be Command-V on a Mac, to paste the address I copied earlier. I press Enter, and that takes me to that directory. Now this is where the configuration files are kept. But I don't really need that address. I need the folder above it. So hovering my cursor here, I move back one and click on the Finale directory. And look down here in the Finale directory, you have your two INI files. To make a copy of them, click on one of them, hold down your Control key, click on the other. That selects both of them. I'm pressing now Control c to copy. That would be Command-C on the Mac. Control-V to paste. And you can see I now have copies of those two INI files. If I then plug in a USB microphone and start up Finale, and Finale corrupts my two INI files, I have copies from which I can restore. All I have to do is come back to this same directory, delete the Finale INI files, rename the copies so they do not have copy in the file name, and I am back to my original INI files. That's all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up down there on the YouTube area to let YouTube know you liked it. Click the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified the next time I post another good tutorial from David's Tutorials.